Hey guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm going to be doing a little review of, I probably shouldn't be throwing this, of a box full of Poundland goodies. I don't know why. Um, I just thought this was quite interesting, and I wanted to see if, this can sound so weird, I wanted to see if it was worth it. It's £5 for this whole box, but I feel like if the pencils break really easily and if the pen doesn't work and if the socks are bad quality and all this other stuff I feel like even though it's only a fiver if certain things don't work out properly it wouldn't it still wouldn't be worth it even as cheap as it is but I didn't even pay a fiver for this I paid three quid for this in the January sales so I'm just gonna crack it open can you see me you can't see the box but you can see me um right Let's go for the mug first. Let's go for the mug. So, I am so blind from that light. <laughs> so, we've got a, this mug that costs a pound mug. So, I must admit, the, the thing isn't the best. Like, can you see this? Like, a ridge all the way along and it's a bit blurry and like there seems to be like watermarks all over it that I don't think it's supposed to be there and like it says on the side of it actual mug design but you can see the mug through the hole I don't know um I mean, I think this would be good as a gag gift or maybe even Secret Santa if you're on about if you're thinking about Christmas. But I mean, I know Christmas has been and gone, but never too early. Um, but I mean, like even the thing, it's not straight. But I think maybe that's the point. Like that's the gag of it. I'm not entirely sure though. But honestly, I wouldn't pay a pound for that. And I'm being honest with you, because in a uh, pound stretcher or savers, you could get a pa uh, a or B and M or Home Bargain or anywhere like that. You could get a mug of much better quality for just a little bit more, like maybe 25p more. You could get a mug of much better. Actually, I did get a mug of better quality. I got a mug for Callum for Christmas, and it's honestly you wouldn't think I paid one pound twenty five for it, but it's a really good mug. And when you compare that to this, it just, it doesn't seem worth it. Like, you can actually see where the label is on the mug. I, I'm going to say label, but it's like a covering or whatever. But you can actually see it, even on the white bit. So, that's the mug. I think it might be one of those things where it's like, you give it to a kid and it doesn't matter if they break it. If you have no plastic cups or whatever in the house. So look at the gel, always helpful. Okie dokie. What's that? Okay. Um, we have a mouse mat. I've just emptied out the box now. So we have a mouse mat, and obviously the best way to test this would be to see if the mouse actually works on it. But I don't have a computer. Um, Callum does, but I I don't, and I don't like using his without his permission. I mean, it feels okay. It's a mouse mat. Can you really go wrong with a mouse mat? Um, I mean, this seems better quality than the mug, I must say that. <laughs> uh, but it's got a nice rubber backing. It's it's not non-slip. But um, it's a little stretchy, but not too bad. Imagine if I did that and it just ripped. Um, but it doesn't seem too bad. Uh, obviously, I don't know how it's going to work on uh, with a mouse. Because I don't have one. But, um, I'll... I'll let Callum use it. I'll give it to Callum to use and then um, I will let you guys know on Instagram. So if you want to know how this works out, head over to my Instagram. Because um, I will do it on the day this goes up. I'll ask Callum to check to see what it's like. Right, so now I'm going to go in with some socks. Some suckies. And I must admit, what the hell. Sorry, I must admit, I actually do get socks from Poundland from time to time. Um, and they're not all bad. Um, some of them are terrible, but a lot of them can be quite good, depending 
on where what section they're from so if they're from the prep and co prep and co pep and co i can't remember what it's called but if they're from that section of the store they're actually all right but you have to pay a bit more for them but if you're actually getting poundland socks they're not too bad but they would they don't last more than say 10 wears um but these socks they're nice and stretchy they're like are these ath athletic socks i don't know there's a name for them they've only got a little cuff um but i will say the size is not very universal because i i don't have massive feet i wear size 8 in uk shoe size which i think is a size 42 european and i have no idea about um the states but like i might actually struggle to get these on my feet and they're two different sizes i've just realized um yeah they're two different sizes slightly they're only slight oh hello okay this i like instead of having one of those stupid plastic tie things for them that every time i take them off i end up ripping the sock they've got this little metal thing to um hold them together and i think that's good because then you just like open it up and take the socks i think that's i actually think that's good and why they've put that on a pair of socks that's literally in a box that was on five i don't know when they don't put it on their usual packs of socks please put them on your usual packs of socks uh, um okay so some pencils so you get two pencils you know a pencil is a pencil um can i write with it see if i can write with both of them uh, okay, there's rubber on the end, so I'm going to test the rubber. Oh, no. <laughs> the rubber is not good. Um, so it's just one of those rubbers where it smudges. It doesn't actually rub out anything. So it's a smudgy rubber, but the pencil itself isn't too bad. Um, but I wouldn't say use it for like art class or anything if you're in school still. Okay, so you also get a pen. Can you write with the pen? Oh yeah, the pen wrote first time. It's actually really nicely flowing. Um, so if I just go. Whoop. Okay, so it actually writes really well and it doesn't break at all or run out part way through writing because some pens do that don't they if you have it on a wrong angle oh actually that's a point yeah no it doesn't do that uh some pens if you have it on a different angle it like um skips it's the only way i can explain it so where's my pen pot gone there in the pen pot so that's actually a good pen <laughs> um but would i pay a pound for one pen Honestly, no, I, I like ever, I would never pay a pound for a pen. And I know some people that pay like 10 pound for a single pen. And I'm looking at them like, are you crazy? And they're like, but it's a really good pen. I'm like, what's wrong with a Bic? Or a, a zebra pen, is that what they're called? I like zebra pens. Um, okay, so next you also get a pin or a badge, depending on, get out. Or in the States, do you call these buttons? um it just says pound does that mean i'm worth a pound <laughs> sorry i'm in a weird mood um yeah so you get a button um i mean unless you wanted to go as a pound land sock for halloween or something like that i don't really understand the point other than the novelty-ness of it actually that's a good idea go with something pound land related pound land mug pound land teapot no okay um so you also get a coaster which you know it's hard it's difficult to do a bad coaster it's difficult um it's made of cork like the back is cork um it's not like snapping immediately i've had coasters that literally you put the slightest bit of pressure through and they snap um this is cardboard i'm assuming uh, I can't easily peel it up or anything like that. So that's actually not bad. That's a good coaster. Probably will work its way around my house somewhere. Um, and then, oh. And then finally, there's a little magnetic notebook. And I didn't realise this was going to be a magnetic notebook. 
So that's just a plus. Hang on, do I have anything? I have this. Um, I don't think the magnet works. Okay, so this I can feel it adhering. Look, hang on, let's see if I can. Come on. There you go. So it does stick. It's just the notebook's quite heavy. So um, I think maybe the magnet should have been a bit bigger, um, and it should have been. It would have been fine. Um, she's one of the pencils shopping. Um, yeah, the paper's not incredibly thin. It's not gone through or anything like that. That's actually a good little notebook and actually will come very in handy for me because I'm always like, hmm, what do I need? Let's... Milk, bread, <laughs> potatoes, whatever. Um, I'm always forgetting things. So that's actually really going to come in handy. You wouldn't think I would forget things with the amount of notebooks I have. Um, but yeah, so that's what that box was. And honestly, it actually wasn't too bad. Um, do I think it's worth the original fiver? Honestly, no. Honestly, no. Because the pens, uh, the pens, the pencils, while they work, the rubbers are crap. And if you're going to have a pencil with a rubber on the end, what's the point if the rubber doesn't work? The, what's this called? The notepad is actually really good. The coaster is good quality. The socks are a decent quality, but still, um, like I said, they're not very universal. Honestly, I think I'm going to struggle getting these on my feet. And like, say for instance, Callum brought this. He wears a size 12 shoe. Could you imagine him trying to get his feet in these? Um, mouse mat, still undetermined. Kind of don't understand the button. And the pen was decent. Oh, and the mug. The mug was the worst thing. Um, yeah, I think out of all of this, the mug was the worst because it just looks bad quality like looking at it it looks bad quality um which i know i know i'm being picky over a box of poundland stuff but i know for a fact that in there they do decent mugs they have half decent mugs in there for a pound why couldn't they have a half decent mug in this box just saying just saying don't come for me uh my pencil box over i'll put them in there um but yeah, I mean, if I'm going to wear the socks to work tomorrow, so if they rip or anything like that, I'll put it in the down in the description box or I will put it on Instagram. I'm going to get Cal Cal I'm going to get Callum to test out the mouse mat and I'll again, I'll put it in the description box and I'll put it up on Instagram. <sighs> Coaster, fine. Notebook, fine. All good. Sorted. Uh, but yeah, I know this was a lot of me uh, talking and I don't know, just kind of bashing Poundland, but... Honestly, I like Poundland and you can get a lot of decent stuff in here. I just feel like they missed the mark with this box, especially with that mug. If they advertise, like it's one of the main things on the actual box itself. Um, so if you're gonna, if you're gonna advertise a mug, then at least make it a decent quality mug, especially if like, you're someone that's gone into Poundland, hearing all these magical things about Poundland and you you get this box you're like yes it's full of poundland goodies and you pull out this crappy mug you're not going to be impressed with that you're not going to want to go back and get more mugs from there in my opinion having had mugs from there i know that they're actually decent quality unlike this one am i ranting too much i feel like i am but i'm still going to upload it like this because these are my opinions my opinions are matter to me anyway <laughs> um you can't sleep deprived. It's like three in the morning, four in the morning. What's the time? It's half three in the morning. There you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, three quid. Yeah, I, I don't mind having paid three quid for this stuff because I got a decent pair of socks. I got a decent coaster. I got a nice notepad. I got some pencils and I got a pen and a button. I still don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I'd be fine. I kind of want to go around and just pin it to people's backs. <laughs> That's the child in me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't mind having paid £3 for that. Um, but if I paid the full five, I wouldn't have been impressed with that. 
because of the shoddy quality of the mug, the quality of the rubbers, and honestly, the quality of the magnet on the back of this. While it does work, I really do not think it's going to hold up, hold itself up um, on the fridge. I think it's just going to slip to the bottom because the the notebook's quite weighty. I feel like if they had done the whole thing as a magnet at the back, it'd have been fine, but. I feel like this is just going to slide right down my fridge. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, if you like this more ranty, sleep deprived kind of video, <laughs> then uh, let me know. Um, let me know if there's any other things you want me to give my opinion about that you're not sure if the quality is worth it I mean other than makeup because I do a lot of makeup on this channel but maybe organize it like I've been thinking about maybe uh trying out some different things and branching out a bit I don't know I do a lot of makeup and there's only so much you can do with makeup to be honest and when I saw this box I was like oh this would be hilarious Especially if I do it like half three in the morning. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop now because I'm being very like. <laughs> okay, it's a couple of days after I filmed that Poundland video and I am less sleep deprived now. Still sleep deprived, but a little bit less. Um, I feel like I was really bashing on that box, um, but it's only because if you are a true, you know, Poundland number one fan, then you know the quality of Poundland and some of this stuff just isn't it and if it's going to be a box for the number one Poundland fan then I feel like it should be the same quality because otherwise it's just going to dishearten people and disappoint them um but I thought I'd just put that in because I got a little delirious towards the end there and I don't know what was going on and I don't know I was so sleep deprived I don't know but yeah uh, but yeah, so that's all I had to say. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. If you're enjoying me and my content, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Leave your video suggestions in the comments down below. I hope you're all having a lovely, lovely day, week, month, whatever it is, and I'll see you all through the screen. Bye, guys!